What's the smallest life you could possibly have? Well, we have the viruses, and viruses. people like arguing about whether it's really alive, but- They seem alive to me. But is a molecule alive? I mean, once you're down there, then quantum physics matters. We're right. Okay? Quantum physics. We don't, we don't experience the phenomena of quantum physics as big macroscopic objects. Frankly, neither do insects. Right, but if they're too big. There's a size below which the quantum world would be everything you ever knew or cared about. But we don't have life that small because life has certain complexity that requires some minimum number of molecules in order to declare it life. We have a whole Star Talk episode where there's a physicist turned astrobiologist who is thinking about how to quantify the molecular identity of a life form and asking what is the smallest value it can have and still be considered life. Life, right. Right. So below that, we think we're not going to find life. That's, that's why. Ooh, ooh, ooh.